Welcome grade 10 students. This is the course selection information PowerPoint, which will assist you in selecting your courses for your grade 11 year. Let's review graduation requirements. In order to obtain the Ontario Secondary Schools Diploma, you must successfully pass a total of 30 credits. These are made up of 18 compulsory credits and 12 elective credits. You must complete the provincial literacy requirement. This is attempting the literacy test in grade 10 and successfully passing, or taking the grade 12 Ontario literacy course and passing. You must complete a minimum of 40 hours of community service, and you must complete two online or e-learning classes. There is an opt-out available for parents and students who feel that the online learning experience or platform is not beneficial to their overall success. If you have questions about the opt-out, please contact your guidance counselor. What are the courses that are compulsory to obtain your secondary school diploma? You must complete four credits in English, so one credit per grade, three credits in math, and one of those credits must be a senior level or grade 11 or grade 12 level math, Two credits in science, one credit in Canadian history, one credit in Canadian geography, one credit in the arts, one credit in health and physical education, one credit in French as a second language, half a credit in career studies, and half a career in civics. In addition to the compulsory courses listed in the previous slide, you must also complete one credit from the following groups. Group one credit is an additional credit in English or French as a second language or native language or classical or an international language or social science and the humanities or Canadian and world studies or guidance and career education or cooperative education. A group two credit is an additional credit in health and phys ed or the arts or business studies or French as a second language, or cooperative education. A group three credit is an additional credit in science at the grade 11 or 12 level, or technological education, or French as a second language, or computer studies, or cooperative education. What courses will you need in grade 11? For grade 11, you will need to select one English credit, either at the college, workplace, or university level, a religion credit, either at the open or the university slash college level, and one math credit, either at the college, workplace, university, or university slash college level. In addition, you will select five elective courses. Please keep in mind the requirements to successfully fulfill your group one, group two, and group three credits. Entering into grade 11, you will see that the grade 11 and grade 12 course descriptions have changed. No longer will you see grade 11 and grade 12 courses under the locally developed applied academic label. If you have taken grade nine and grade 10 locally developed courses, these courses will now appear as workplace level credits. If you've taken any classes at the applied level in grade nine and 10, your options are to select grade 11 and grade 12 college or grade 11, grade 12 university college level courses. Grade nine and grade 10 academic courses now lead to courses under the university college label or the straight university level label. Open level courses remain open, and these are open to all streams, workplace, college, university college, and university level students. Please keep in mind when selecting your grade 11 courses that many of these are prerequisites for some of the courses in grade 12 that you may be required to take in order to apply to college and university. 
The next few slides are going to look at the different pathways that are available and provide you with information to make informed decisions on what you hope to do after you leave high school. Apprenticeship. Students that often choose apprenticeships are those that are interested in hands-on learning. Also interested in jobs that pay well, are very interesting, are mobile, and are in great demand. How do you get there? Well, you must have a minimum of grade 12 education with a strong foundation in math, science, and communication. You must find an employer to hire you and then register with the Ministry of Training, Colleges, and Universities. It's recommended you consider taking co-op or college apprenticeship opportunities. There are pre-apprenticeship programs available at college which will help gain valuable skills to prepare you for an apprenticeship. It is encouraged that you select and strive to do well in your senior level English and math courses. Are you thinking about attending college? Do you enjoy practical hands-on experiences and smaller class settings? Are you career focused? Are you looking for a one to four year program certificates, diploma, or a degree? How do you get to college? Well, you must complete your Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and in order to apply, you must have grade 12 English at the college or university level, plus any other program specific requirements, including some math, sciences, or any additional senior level at the college level or higher. College degrees require university requirements, which is a minimum of six university or university college level credits. If you're interested in applying to college, you will need to select grade 11 courses in the college or college university or university stream. Students are encouraged to visit www.ontariocolleges.ca to look at specific programs and their detailed requirements. Are you thinking of attending university? Do you enjoy academic and theoretical learning? Are you an independent self-directed learner? Do you have specific career goals that require a university degree? In order to get to university, you must successfully complete your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. You must have grade 12 English at the university level, plus five other grade 12 U or M level courses including any program specific requirements. That's why it's important to check out ontariouniversitiesinfo.ca for program information, required courses, and expected grade cutoffs. Next year you will select English 3U, Religion, College University, either College University Math or university level math, and five other elective courses recommended at the U or M level. Please pay close attention to university program requirements for grade 12, as many of the grade 11 courses are the prerequisites for your grade 12 university English, grade 12 university math, sciences, computer studies, and phys ed and health. Community Living students will continue to work closely with your special education monitor to continue to build life skills by attending your classes and volunteering your time within our community. Workplace Bound. Workplace students typically want to develop employability skills and gain valuable on the job experience. They are looking to earn wages and explore a variety of different careers. Several workplaces will provide employees with on-the-job training and courses. How do you get there? Students generally require their Ontario Secondary School Diploma in order to join the workforce. Consider building your resume through part-time work, volunteering, special high skill major opportunities, co-curricular and co-op opportunities, throughout high school. 
You will need to select Grade 11 courses from any of the pathway streams next year. Go in your English, your Math, and your Religion, plus the five elective courses. Please keep in mind with your elective courses that you want to fulfill your Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3 level courses. Co-op opportunities. If you are interested in taking co-op, you will need to complete a co-op application form and have two teachers complete reference forms. Both the application and reference forms are available online. Co-op applications are due when all other course selections are due. And that's March 1st, 2023. Co-op candidates that complete all their paperwork will then be interviewed by a co-op teacher in early spring. Please use the following link to learn more about experiential learning opportunities here at Doyle. If you're choosing co-op next year, please consider signing up for the Specialist High School Majors program to help you with your pathway planning. See your guidance counselor or use the following link to learn more about the Specialist High School Major program and how it can benefit you. Course selections. We will again be using my blueprint to complete the course selection process. Please go to www.myblueprint.ca or in my apps on the WCDSB website to begin your course selection. On the My Blueprint website, you will then select the school account login in order to log in and enter your password. From the dashboard page, you will then click on Plan Courses. For step three, you will be adding courses to your high school plan. Please click on the plus courses to select from the courses at your school. Remember, for grade 11, you must select an English, a math, and a religion course and then five elective credits. Once you have selected your grade 11 English, math, and religion courses, plus your five electives, you are then asked to click on the review course selections to review your chosen courses. Once you have reviewed and are happy with the course that you have selected, you then click the Submit Course Selections to submit your courses to the school. Once you have submitted your courses to the school, you must also select the Send Approval email, which will send your course request to a parent or guardian to approve. You must enter your parent or guardian's email address when prompted. Your courses will not be submitted for approval by your guidance counselor until your parent or guardian has approved your choices. Another option students have is choosing to print a paper copy of your course selections and then have it signed by a parent or guardian and then submit it to the guidance office. A reminder, course selections and all co-op forms must be completed no later than Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. If you have any questions with the course selection process, please contact your guidance counselor.